proud Miss Universe I do that. I feel so excited and um, I don't really have a lot of words to express how I feel but I'm really proud of myself as well because I've always wanted you know to wear this sash and represent the country so I'm really happy. So how's the support being from Nigeria even though from diaspora how's it been like to have this um, feature up right now? It's been amazing the support has been ecstatic um, I'm really happy to see that there's a lot of people that are actually out there to support because most of the times I actually felt like there was more hate than love but the love is really exceeding the hate and I'm really happy to have a, a huge support uh, structure. How would you describe the challenges you faced so far to now being like beauty queen? The challenges I face have been really um, heartbreaking. I think that's the term that I always use because I don't think anybody will understand the type of um, heartache I felt throughout this whole backlash. But then I'm really excited that, you know, through everything else, I really exuded with so much grace and so much determination and I really came through as a strong black woman. How do you balance being Miss Universe Nigeria and your personal life physically? So it's only day two of Black Bean Miss Universe Nigeria, so I am still in that process of adapting to be Miss Universe Nigeria and still being Chi Chi. I think for now I'm still dedicating my um, time as to knowing more of Nigeria and also how I can be a better queen and also represent the country really well. So I think as time goes by I will know how to know, know where to differentiate between being Chi Chi and being Miss Universe Nigeria. So how do you intend to use your platform now to like influence the decision? I mean, give a voice to like all that role model that people looking up to you. So first of all, um, I'm an advocate for unity. I want us to start to realize that there's so much power in us, you know, celebrating our differences and coming together as one. But I don't want to be a reigning queen that only focuses on one aspect. I have so much um, impact that I would like to provide, not only to um, Africans as well, but to women as well, because I feel like a lot of women can also take a lot from what I have gone through. And I really hope that I can, oh, I'm able to actually not impact only one person's life, but so many other people as well. So I have a lot of work to do. So how you describe your experience in Nigeria so far and growing up in South Africa? So it's been very different. You know, I've actually lived in South Africa for 23 years and I'm only here in Nigeria for like 10 days. So I can't really um, spread out the difference between the two because most of my stay here was actually being at camp and competing for Miss Universe Nigeria. So now that I'm done with the whole process, I'm really looking forward to actually exploring more and being outside of, you know, a pageant, and Miss Universe. So is there anything that stands strong for you, like I'm about Nigeria, like you live most of your life in South Africa, right? And now you're in Nigeria for like 10 days, like you said. What's like the cultural difference that you kind of notice or like you like? What's that thing that stands different for you in Nigeria? So for me, it's just like how we all come together. So Nigerians have been really supportive and um, I don't think I have um, expressed a lot of gratitude, but I'm really grateful because even in, in even in South Africa as well, Nigerians were really celebrating me. So it's not just in here that I've experienced all of this love. It's also in South Africa. And it's just really great to see that we can all come together and celebrate the victory together. So you will describe what does feeling uh, winning look like to you? Feeling of winning, I think this is just an overwhelming and um, I feel like I really accomplished something that I've always wanted. So I'm really proud of myself. I'm really proud of myself. So how does winning, like, how, how would you describe, like, uh, this to, like, a role model, someone looking up to you now? What you say to them? Don't give up on your dreams. Um, stand up for yourself. Um, there's always going to be rough parts. You will fight, f um, face those trials. But don't give up on your dreams. You always work hard and... So Queen Chidema Vanessa Deshina had a wonderful time as she's continuing to enjoy her, her time in Nigeria. As a current Miss Universe Nigeria, she has a lot in her schedule to tour Nigeria, do some charity works and all of that. The journey just began. You know, the last place she visited, he visited is uh, the Banj and, her, and his company and also the chairman of uh, Nigerians in Diaspora, Honorable Abike Dabri. In fact, I saw a lot of things they did for her to, you know, to entertain her, organizing a kind of uh, beauty pageant among the staff, which is really, really funny. And she also vibing and dancing to the Banj's uh, uh, song. He says, uh, the, you don't need to waste your time to people that are not worthy. I actually change it to people that worry you. So it's to me, she's living her life, you know, living her dreams. I'm so glad that she's, you know, getting to uh, know a lot of people and enjoying her time and moments in Nigeria. I, I bet you she will really, really enjoy Nigeria. You know, the kind of, when, you, when, you, when it has to do with entertainment, 
and uh, socialism and uh, just just name it nigeria comes first by the time she finished her tour in nigeria and also to go to mexico to represent nigeria at miss world i tell you sorry miss universe and no contest this lady will everything about south africa will be off her memory she's gradually gradually adapting to the country yes she's been away for um 20 years and now she's back your home is your home whether you are away for 1400 years doesn't matter whenever you decide to come back you come back and then embrace the culture the tradition the people and everybody and we are welcoming as you can see um yes she was away for how many years now that didn't stop her from uh, participating and also going ahead to win we are not like south africans that uh, i don't really want to talk uh, i don't want this video to just be about south africans anymore i just want it to be all about the queen she is gradually gradually adapting enjoying herself enjoying her life like the um, uh, woman uh, uh, abike dabri said he said if you have dual nationality or dual citizenship don't play with it if you are a nigerian and then you have a citizenship of other country don't play with nigerian citizenship because one day the opportunity might come you might need it and then it will become an issue for you so she's actually um, she's been thankful that such opportunity was given to her to come and participate after she was thrown away by south africans and here she is the queen of nigeria miss universe nigeria winner so i'm very glad and happy for her that she is getting to know a lot of people and building her contacts building her friends uh, and her own you know circle of friends and all of that and i i know she has a lot of people you know by her side that will be taking her around whatever thing she wants to do i'll be looking forward to you know the tours the charity works the visit and a lot of things the uh, 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 what is it called uh, the promotions and so many other stuff she's got in her schedule to do and i'm seriously ready for that i'll be updating you guys on you know how life is going or is being with her and the tours the charity was everything but for now the uh, few videos i've posted out here so far you can see that this lady is doing well but for those south africans who claim she's now old she's now 60 looking 60 looking 70 you are actually older than her you look more older this lady went through a series of training exercise fitness and you have even i posted some of those videos here they were on diet as people models you don't eat anyhow you train you exercise you do a lot of this to keep fit and just like two days after and some people want her all of a sudden to be chubby they want her all of a sudden to be this to be that she's thin she's this she's that we saw the video of the day she entered nigeria that's not the same look this lady the day she entered nigeria you know she looked so so tired because these people almost frustrated her and now you know she's just refreshed me better better than she she, she she when she arrived here she's far better than when she arrived so those uh, funny people I, I really love your comment keep commenting and don't, don't just care i will reply the ones i feel like replying because i know there are things you cannot change in people if you continue to reply they will feel like they are getting at you they will continue to you know make all those funny funny comments but fine that will not change anything for those who want her to you know be chubby overnight maybe to become fat sorry to disappoint you that's not going to happen she needs to keep fit for the uh miss universe content that is coming november this is september we are just one month away and people want her to be fat people want her to be chubby people want her to you know be i don't know what they really want but i can tell you this is the best fitness or best look for her you know for such a miss universe contest coming november